Hey and welcome to Never Run Through That Again. In this video, I'd like to go over the advanced combat tracker that will allow you to exactly calculate the amount of damage, let's say, you are doing or even your companion. You can see in the combat chat right there, you can see all of those damage numbers, all of those hits. Now, all of those things can be recorded in a data file by simply going forward slash combat log and going one and then it will record everything within a data file now you will need a parser an application to actually parse all this so you can see a data sheet such as this which will display the exact amount of damage your certain powers are outputting the amount of dps average damage per second those powers have and have them even on a chart and see which percentages of each of those powers are actually dealing so then you can go and deduce whether or not a certain power is better than another you can do so many different tests comparing and especially for a damage dealing character this is what you need to be doing in endgame to figure out how to deal the most amount of damage also with the new trial the crown of keldegon you want to be having on average about 450 to 500 thousand average damage per second so on the combat tracker that's labeled as encounter dps the average amount of damage you're doing per second in that combat duration. So let's jump in straight how to get the combat tracker. So in the video description, there'll be two links. The first link will be to the advanced combat tracker itself, where you're going to have to click the link. It'll lead you to this website where you can simply go and click advanced combat tracker setup the blue title there and you can go ahead and download it download it in a location where you can still find it again once you have that downloaded make sure to go and download the plugin this will be this second link the neverwinter plugin that will immediately lead you to a page to go and download it download it same location so now you should have a folder with your act set up along with your neverwinter.cs so double click on the act and that should lead you to an installation page that looks like this. We'll remove the clutter and you can see it will ask you where do you want to install your act. Personally, I don't like just going in the default area. I'll go and set it up in my programs folder on my local disk just over here and we can get our act installed. We click next and we can just click install. Simple as. And now we click click close so once installed you can simply go to your search and you can click act and you should be able to find it there an app you'll click that you should also have an icon on your desktop and it should open like such with these two files so here you'll get your startup wizard which you can simply just hit close on we won't need it now we need to go to the plugins tab and we need to actually add the information that it can actually parse the Neverwinter combat lock. So we'll click browse. We'll navigate to that document where we just stored our act setup and the Neverwinter CS. We need to click on the Neverwinter CS and click open and that should pop there and you click add enable plugin and you can just click yes there that's fine. And once you've done that then you can head to the main page. Now is where it might get a bit tricky. First up, again, in game, you're going to have to make sure you've activated that it's going to record your combat log just there. And then you can go and attack your dummy and that will give you data in your combat log just there. And if you have other people here as well, then they'll also add to that combat log, but separately. So now we have our advanced combat tracker and we need to find the file to actually look at the data. So we can go to import and export. And on the first page here, you can click select file. Now is where you guys might find it a bit more challenging. You need to remember where you actually installed Neverwinter. What you could do is just search Neverwinter in your file explorer. And for me, I know it's this file just here, Game Scripting Studios, because that's where I have it installed. And it leads me to this page just here. Again, I've gone and installed my Neverwinter game 
in my games folder in my cryptic studios and we have it just here now if you've gone and installed it through steam this might be in a different location and you can simply just move the entire cryptic studios folder now within that cryptic studios folder you have a folder called neverwinter and within there you'll have depending whether you've downloaded the playtest server you'll have that you'll have live and depending if you've downloaded the beta server you might have that as well so for now we're on the previous server we go to playtest and then we go to logs and then we go to game client and here you can see all of those logs now what you can do is don't be afraid to just go and like delete all of those client ones you can just highlight them all and then hit delete on those they'll just vanish and you might have a whole load of crash ones as well along with make shaders and shutdowns and all of those can just be deleted they're all just temporary and once they're gone you might have one or two which you can't while the game's open and here remaining we just have a whole bunch of combat locks now you can see the newest one here you can see with the date modified and the time there we can go and open that one however we need to use this explorer here and again, we're just going to go to our local disk, we go to our games, we go to our Cryptic Studios, we go to Neverwinter, we go to Playtest, we go to lo Logs, and we go to Game Client, and we scroll down our Combat Logs, and the bottom one there is the newest one. And you'll get a page like this, Import Progress, and you can just click Use Above, and once that green bar is full, you click Close, and here we can see our encounters. Here we have all of our damage logs there we can see exactly our outgoing damage and so on there's a bit more optimization that you want to be doing for example you can see here we have a bunch of these titles they are all kind of squished ideally you want to open this up a bit more make it all a bit bigger so that none of those headings are too squished there and for me personally i like to change up a few things so we can go to options and here we can go to main tables and encounters now here in the encounter view options i like to deselect start time so uncheck that i like to have the duration i like to have the damage we can deselect damage percentage i just find that's pretty useless and we can have encounter dps there encounter high dps can just be gone as well that's not much use we can have our hits there that can be pretty useful and we can have down here like our deaths we can take away damage taken if you don't need that we can have our frequency crit hit and we can also have like our flank damage. Our flank damage is the amount of percentage damage that you do as combat advantage damage. And then same with the combat view here. We can keep the type. We can add in the duration. We have the damage. We have the encounter DPS. We have the average. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to select medium hit. We have min hit, max hit, total hits. That's all good. We can keep crit hits away. We can get rid of swings. We can have our percentage on crit. That's good. We can have our flank percentage and we can have our effectiveness. That's all good. Then we go to our damage type view options. And here I like to keep my type. I am gonna keep duration there added in keep damage, keep encounter DPS, get rid of this average. We can have the medium, the min, the max. We can get rid of resist. We can keep the hit count. We can get rid of swing and two hit, and we can keep the crit percentage and the flank and the effectiveness. And lastly, you have the attack type overview, but I generally just leave that as it is. And the next time we go and open a log, so we go to select file in the import and export, we can scroll down here, we can select our combat log, we can open it again, and there you can see our encounters. You're going to have to expand the import zone there. You have the different encounters and it'll record each one and you can expand the encounters further. You can click on like your name, you can expand that and then you can go to like outgoing damage. We can also see the outgoing healing, the power replenish and all of these including the incoming damage. But as a DPS we primarily want to focus on our outgoing damage so we can see we dealt those certain hits and we got that certain amount of damage per second just there and you can title them by clicking on the main ones here we can get our damage we can get our duration you can see the percentage and if you click on type you get 
nothing there. So if you are missing this pie chart, just click on like encounter DPS and you'll get the average damage done per each of those certain hits. So we can again go clear encounter and we can actually enable it so we can view it while we attack. So let's put this on auto attack. We click our tab there and now it's auto attacking. Now you can see nothing shows in our lock, but what we can do, we can go to options. We can scroll up to miscellaneous and we can click open the log and we can scroll down and we can get our active log. You can even see that the size of the file is increasing. That's because more and more is being added to the file. So once we've clicked that open there, we can go back to the main and you should see it in orange there. And now this is actively updating while our character hits. So we can in real time spectate how much damage per second we have. And this is just by swinging our at will. We're already over 120,000 DPS there. And you can see how much damage like the band of air is dealing with our bleed from our at will along with our duelist flurry, which is the at will itself. And all of these things are just procking off that. And the amount of damage we can get there is pretty massive. And that's not including any of our full rotation whatsoever. And that's how you can see real time the amount of damage. Personally, I like to just have this on my second screen and I can have this just on the side and I can view basically my damage when we're running a trial or something. Now there is a way where you can click like show mini, you'll end up with this thing, but you're going to have to set that all up yourself. I personally have not bothered with that at all. Again, if you just want to end the encounter, you can click end and there it will save your encounter there and just create a new one that updates and this one won't update anymore. So basically, if I want to, let's say, get my encounter DPS, I would have to make sure I'm all buffed up. We're going to have to go to our combat log, click clear the encounter, and we are going to have to wait till our dots are all gone and we should see that our name should not be there as long as we're not in combat. And then we can wait a few seconds and then we can go and we can begin doing our rotation. So we can find out like how much damage per second we have. So we'll just do a quick rotation here and then we can go quickly back to the log. We can hit end encounter and let's have a look at that damage rotation there. We click outgoing damage. We can see we are getting like nearly 900,000 DPS. Now that is not a trustworthy test at all because the duration is only 11 seconds. You want to be having these durations at at least two minutes or more and time your like daily power and your artifact with your mount power all at the same time. Do one at the beginning and then when you start the log, and do one at the end when you end the log. And then you can look at your average encounter DPS. You can see what certain powers are doing what certain amount of damage. And you want to be having after over two minutes, three minutes, at least 400 to 500,000 DPS to even consider going into the new trial. If you don't have that, don't consider going into the trial. Upgrade your character further. Otherwise, you're just asking to be carried in the new trial. And so finally, I want to show you guys how you can test, let's say, companions like I do with my big sheets and so. So we have our companion and we can go and attack the dummy and then we make sure the companion has combat advantage damage. So we'll stand on this side while it stands on the other side. That's all that matters to get combat advantage damage. Now, if we look at our combat log, we can see that we have the log open so we can see it's recording. Here we have our pet. You can see Aelin's pet. It's a bit confusing because I have my companion named the same as me. So let's just get a different companion real quick. We get the Batiri, we attack the dummy, and then we can see the Batiri wants to attack this dummy. Okay, all good. Let's make sure we have combat advantage. We, he rotates, so we'll rotate with him. And apparently he wants to attack this dummy now. Okay, so we make sure, let's just dismiss him and summon him again. So here we have him, we'll attack the dummy. See, does he actually want to attack that dummy? Yes, he does. Let's move around and we give him combat advantage damage. So now we look at our log and we can see here's our 
Privateer Runt in its Aelin's pet. So it's our pet. We can see our it's outgoing damage. We can see the flank amount of damage that it was dealing there. Only 33%, 50%. We need that to be 100% for this to be a fair test. So you can see we're giving him combat advantage. So let's just clear the encounter. We'll restart it. Here's our Batiri. Outgoing damage. We have our flank at 100%. So that's all good. And we can view his damage per second. His encounter DPS. And we can see the percentage of which power is dealing what there. We can toggle that so that it shows the all DPS there. And we can see the average amount of damage he's outputting. Again, we're making sure he has combat advantage damage so that his flank is 100%. And otherwise, that's how I test my companions. I just let this sit then for 10 minutes or so, and we get a good log. Now, what you can do if you want to merge pet that you're using with your damage, you go here down in options to general, and you click merge all pet data to owner and remove pet from listing. So now if we go back to our encounter, we can see that the damage from the pet will be going to our damage. So this considers as my damage. We can go to the encounter again. We can see I'm there, my outgoing damage, and the companion's damage is considered my damage, not his anymore. Now we can clear the encounter. We'll again just get that. And all we get is me and then the damage that the companion steal it. So I prefer to have it on set so that you can see the pet separately to the summoner since it's the pet dealing the damage, not actually you dealing the damage. But of course, the pet's damage is reliant on what stats you have. So that's that. That's how we test companions. The most difficult part you guys will find is finding the location for your actual log that's being recorded. If you're on the live server, we can go back to our Neverwinter here and we can click to live, we can click logs, game client, and here it should show you all of those combat logs. Again, going back here, we can go to our play test, logs, game client, and we have all of our logs on our previous server. And don't be afraid to go and delete logs that you don't need. I just haven't been deleting any because sometimes I like to go back to ones I have recorded. Of course, you can always go and right click on these and rename them to something like high DPS. And then you can always have that saved there as a title and you'd be able to actually know what's in that log. However, you can see here after naming it, it doesn't pop up as a combat log anymore. So what we do here is we go to log files and then you should be able to find the one you named there. Be warned though, other things will pop up like make shader bins as well. Otherwise you can keep it on game log files and just not rename anything and you should be able to find everything there. Going to the import and the export is where you can just open a file that's already been recorded and you'll get this message and it might take a bit of time to load and then you go to the main and then it should be here in this import one. If you currently have it active like I do right now that it is recording a new log, it can sometimes just interrupt whatever you're looking at. Like if I'm looking at this and I would go out of combat, then it might pop me back over to what I've just recorded. So after this ticks over, then when we're out of combat, it pops like this, and then you'd have to navigate back. In order to stop that, let's say I am in combat and I don't want it to record anymore because I just want to look at things, but I want it to record in the background without having this up here. You can go to options and you can go like pause log or close log. And it should basically, when you go clear encounter, it shouldn't record anymore. And you can go and import and you can be uninterrupted when you're looking at things. But again, you're going to have to open the log here or you can click unpause and then it should probably record, but sometimes it won't because we click closed log. So you're going to have to open that log again there, the active log, and then you can see it will record. Now that's pretty much it for the combat tracker. Last thing would be to stop, let's say a log or create a new one. You can again, just type in the command combat log and we can go zero. And that will just automatically stop recording any of our data in our text files. And then you can always go like combat log one again to record in that same log. To play as a competitive DPS player in endgame for Neverwinter can be quite expensive, especially with all that buff food, having to know what you build and having to have set up everything ideally. And again, you want at least 
450,000 counter DPS to 500,000 counter DPS just on a dummy by yourself to be a competitive damage dealer within the new trial. So if you're considering getting into end game as quickly as possible, it's either going to be seriously expensive on a DPS character or you should just play a healer or a tank and that way you only need to do your job you don't depend so much on your statistics you more depend on your knowledge of what's happening in the trial and what mechanics you need to cast what powers for in order to uh, basically overcome them it's a lot more forgiving as a tank or a healer so overall hopefully this has been somewhat helpful to you guys with the combat tracker how to set it up how to download it and the links again should be in the video description so again i'd like to give a massive thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going now if i present this well consider leaving the video a like if you're new around here consider subscribing we'll see you guys around goodbye for now